Okay, welcome to another Orbiter video, and this is the series I'm putting together where we started off on Olympus, went to Phobos, over Deimos, and now we're on our way back down to Olympus. So let's just go ahead and switch camera views here and jump back into it. Alright, let me unpause. So we are about, we're moving along at about a thousand meters per second, a little bit more. We're just under 15 kilometers, and we're about 280. 85 kilometers away from the base so let's uh, bring back up arrow break here for a moment so arrow break has us coming up uh, going in a bit long so let me bring let me increase the angle of attack a little bit and I'm gonna put in a bit of a, a little bit of a roll because I can see my alignment with the base is just a tad bit off there so we just want to make sure that we keep uh, keep a, keep a watch on our vertical speed so we don't suddenly start dropping so fast that we can't control it. And we want to make sure that we don't cross the distance threshold before we turn on the retro engine. So we're down to, um, you know, we're under a thousand and that's the last number that we put into burn time. So let's update burn time. Let's say we, if we slow down to 900 meters a second before we before we engage, then we'll need 84 kilometers to slow down. Okay. So, and I'm going to say it's probably going to be even lower than that. So let's go 850. So we would need 75 kilometers. So let's look at arrow break again. And it looks like we're pretty well lined up there. So let's take out that uh, bank angle. So we can keep gliding along for now. And pretty soon we're going to want to watch our descent because that's going to, I think at this point, it's just going to continue to increase. So before, you know, we get too low, we're going to have to go wings level and start, uh, you know, start putting in some hover so that we don't hit the ground. Currently we're 175 kilometers away using the full power of the retro engines we need about 75 kilometers to do our braking of course if we're at 850 it looks like we'll probably be even a bit lower than that so our alignment is pretty good I don't think we're gonna have the landing pad online yet no of course not so we need to get closer before before we'll have the landing pad online so we're definitely going to be below that 850 number so let's update burn time and I'm thinking maybe 750, so we would need about 59 kilometers. But we do need to watch our vertical Mach speed four. here. And I think what I want to do at this point, I don't want to be scrambling at the last moment, so I'm going to uh, switch. I'm going to zero out everything. I'm going to switch to pitch, well, and then I'm going to zero out everything. So we're at 800 meters a second. All right, this isn't going to be useful anymore, so I'm going to have burn time up on that side. So we have a 750 in, and we needed 59 kilometers, we'll call it. And I can see just a little twinkle of the base right there. So now if I turn on the autopilot, I should have, I should just have wings level, which is what I want, so. Translation. Rotation. I'm going to put in just a little bit of roll in this direction to, because I feel like our alignment's just a tad bit off. So, okay, we're going to need to start the braking burn really soon. So let's go wings level. Um. And so we're distance is 60. We said that, but it's a bit lower. All right, let's go with, let's just do a quick update. 725, 54, so about now. 
right, using the full power of the retro engines to slow down. So hopefully that by the time we get to the base, we will be uh, Mock three. mostly slowed down. I'm not quite sure what effect the air Five thousand. The air brakes going to have and everything. Hover doors are closed. Right. Hover doors are closed. Just putting in a just a bit of hover. Four thousand. Keep the vertical speed under control. Translation. All right, we should have the the landing pad now. We do. Alright, so our deep is 425, 18 kilometers, so we should be pretty close. Adding in just a bit of hover. Rotation. Translation. 2000. Bit more on the hover. Go ahead and put gear down the landing down. gear now. Bit more on the hover. You are gear clear down to and land. locked. Okay, so we're moving along about 225 meters a second, but Sub we currently seven. have the full power of the retro 9, engines 000. firing to slow us down. We're on track to land on landing pad one. 900. We're about seven and a half kilometers out. We're dropping it 20 meters a second. 800. We have some hover to keep us from uh, cratering into the ground. Rotation translation. 600. I'm gonna take out some, some of the I'm going to turn off the retro engines for now so we can Rotation. close in that last little bit of distance. A bit more on the hover. guess I can turn on... 400. That way I'm not trying to mess with that so much manually. 300. Rotation, 200. Translation. All right, start slowing down. I actually forgot about it. Okay, should be good enough for that. All right, I think we're actually going to do this. 100. So we don't need this up anymore. Maybe have a camera view up that might be more useful. So the XR dummy is straight down. Um, 75. Although for some reason... Uh, Alright, never mind. 50. Slow things down a little bit more. Rotation. Translation. 40. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Slowing things down a little bit more as we get over the pad. A translation this way. Slow things down a little bit more. Okay, hey, we're almost over the top of the pad. Go ahead and start descending. Twenty. Fifteen. Ten. Nine. Eight, Landing gears down. APU's seven, on. Six. We're almost over the center of the pad. Five, Try to take four, out any forward, backward, three, sideways velocity and two. One. 
All right. Wheel stop. Got a bit of a bounce there. I'm not sure where that came from. All right. So, all right, we did it. We didn't crash. <laughs> Amazing. All right, let me go ahead and close up that air brake. All right, let's uh, let's take a look outside. So we we started off on landing pad one, and we went uh, up in the orbit. We went all the way to Phobos. Did a bit of a resupply. Went from Phobos to Deimos. Did a resupply, and I th would think we probably swapped out some crew members. So the guys that were in the uh, low gravity on Phobos and Deimos are now in the vessel and they're experiencing Mars gravity, which is significantly higher, so they probably feel all weighed down. But, you know, I doubt they spent a ton of time up there, you know, probably something along the lines of like an International Space Station trip, so there's just a bit of adjustment to do, but it shouldn't be too bad APU fuel because, uh, you know, Mars gravity is significantly lower than Earth's, so... All right, but that's going to wrap it up. Let me do a quick save here. Um, before we do that, though, let's just look and see how much fuel we have left. I think we topped up everything before we went to... Uh, before we ever left Olympus. And we have about 5,000 kilometers left, which is 28.5%. Uh, and how do we do on locks? Because we never... Yeah, so with the whole mission, we only used, you know, like a day and a half of locks, which makes sense because, you know, these flights were just in the order of hours, not, you know, um, you know, it, it didn't take us days or weeks or anything like that. So the entire trip, and I guess the mission timer here, hold to reset. Uh, you know, the whole the whole mission was only two days and five hours, and that includes, you know, the time warps and stuff that we did. So overall, you know, I really enjoyed that mission. I thought it was a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Um, if you did, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do from here, but let me do a quick save. So maybe we'll pick up from this flight and do something else, but um, I'm thinking we may be done with Mars for now. We may look into doing something else. Again, I'm recording this on July 17th, and I have already recorded other stuff, but I don't know of that other stuff, what's going to get uploaded and what's not, because some of it I'm not happy with. But uh, yeah, with all that said, I'll see you in the next video, if there is one.